Well, uh, I recently sold my uh, Golight Shangri-La 3 shelter and uh, bought a tent. So I thought for those of you that cared, I would just uh, set it up here in the backyard and give you a, a quick tour of the new tent. Well, here it is. It is the Mountain Hardware Drifter 3, uh, three-man tent, and um, not super lightweight, but uh, but not bad. It is uh, about five and a half pounds, um, which they, they get lighter, but they also get a lot more expensive. So five and a half pounds for a, a sub $200 tent is not bad. I'm hoping I can uh, get a compression sack and... Uh, just uh, pack the poles separately and, and compress the tent down a little bit. Save some room in the pack. And here's just a quick look at everything before we set it up. Tent, um, two aluminum poles, stakes, and the fly. Alrighty, here's the actual tent set up. Uh, very simple to set up. Doesn't take really any time at all. Um, I just staked in the four corners and um, it's got two poles two poles meet in the middle and are joined by uh, this clasp here and then it's the uh, clip-on system as opposed to uh, putting the poles through the sleeves which I like it's a lot I think makes it a lot easier um, one of the best things for me about this tent is that there is a door on each side so always nice when you've got more than one person in the tent um, somebody doesn't have to climb over another person to uh, to get out so that's one of the things I like best about it as you can see uh, quite a bit of ventilation um, if you know it's gonna be a nice night uh, you can leave the fly at home and, and just uh, sleep in this or there's also an ultralight setup version which is pretty cool you can leave the entire tent at home and just set up the um, just to fly with the poles and use it as a shelter um, so I like the fact that it has that option as well so we'll go inside and just explore the inside for a second uh, next purchase I'll probably make for this tent will be the footprint that's another uh, $40 um, but I think it'll be well worth it so hopefully I'll be able to get that soon all right I'll show you a couple features on the inside of the tent uh, it is a three-man tent but um, really only fits probably two people comfortably as with most three-man tents there are a couple of uh, pockets on each corner just to store uh, a few odds and ends keys wallets whatever um, there's also a gear loft up here um, pretty significantly big gear loft actually so that's that's kind of a nice feature um, pretty basic on the inside All right, and uh, here it is fully set up uh, with the fly on. Uh, to go along with the two doors, it also has two uh, small vestibules on each side, which is, uh, at least I think, pretty handy. Room for some gear out there. There are door stays on, uh, actually all four doors. Um, so you can stake in either side of the fly and fold up either door. Uh, they also uh, came with optional guy lines um, which connect here. So there are four guy lines that, that you can use as well. I'll uh, just go inside for a few minutes and show you around. Oh, as you can see again, plenty of room for uh, two people which is what I'll be using it for mostly um, again it's a three-person tent but um, as with most three people tents it's, it'd be pretty tight in there all right so there you have it that is the mountain hardware drifter 3 hope to be able to set it up somewhere other than my backyard soon and uh, get out and uh, actually test it in the field. We'll let you know how that goes.